Practice Test 8. Part 4. Question 45. When the current in the core of a transformer has risen to a point where, high flux density has been reached and additional increases in current, produce few additional flux lines, the metal core is said to be saturated. The metal core of a transformer becomes saturated when high flux density is reached, and increased in current produce additional flux lines. When transformer cores have risen to a temp where high flux density is reached, increases in current and produce additional flux lines, the metal core is saturated. Question 46. True statement. Voltage induced in the secondary winding of a transformer, is dependent on the number of secondary turns, as compared to the primary turns. True. Transformer voltage induced in secondary winding is dependent on number of secondary turns as compared to the primary turns. True. Transformer voltage induced secondary winding is dependent on secondary turns compared to the primary turns. True. Question 47. False statement. Non-metallic boxes cannot be used to house split wired receptacle operating at 240, 120 volt. False. Non-metallic boxes cannot be used to house split wired receptacle operating at 240, 120 volt. False. You may not use non-metallic boxes in a house split wired receptacle operating at 240, 120 volts. Question 48. What are the receptacle requirements on dwelling occupancies for a kitchen? 220 amp small appliance circuit. 220 amp receptacles are requires in dwelling kitchens. Must have 220 amp minimum receptacle in a home kitchen. Question 49. Auto transformers use the same winding for both primary and secondary. The disadvantage of an auto transformer is the lack of isolation between the primary and secondary conductors. The disadvantage of an auto transformer is the lack of isolation between the primary and secondary conductors since they use the same winding for both primary and secondary. Auto transformers use the same winding for both primary and secondary. The disadvantage of an auto transformer is the lack of isolation between the primary and secondary conductors. Question 50. The expanding and collapsing electromagnetic field of the transformer also induces a voltage in the transformer core. The induced voltage causes eddy currents to flow within the core which removes energy from the transformer winding and represents wasted power. Eddy currents are caused by induced flow within the core which removes energy from the transformer winding and represents wasted power. The expanding and collapsing electromagnetic field of the transformer also induces a voltage in the transformer core. The induced voltage causes eddy currents to flow within the core which removes energy from the transformer winding and represents wasted power. Question 51. Eddy currents can be reduced by dividing the core into many flat sections or laminations. Because the laminations have a small cross-sectional area, the resistance offered to the eddy currents is greatly increased. Reduce eddy currents by dividing the core into many flat sections or laminations since they will have a smaller cross-sectional area resistance of eddy currents are greatly increased. Divide the core into many flat sections. The laminations will have a small flat cross-sectional area which decrease the chance of eddy currents. Question 52. The relationship of the primary winding voltage and the secondary winding voltage is the same as the relation between number of conductor turns to the primary as compared to the secondary. This relationship is called ratio same on both ends of different spectrum. The ratio on both ends of the spectrum of winding voltage is the relationship between primary and secondary winding voltage being the same between number of conductor turns. The relationship of the primary winding voltage and the secondary winding voltage is the same as the relation between number of conductor turns to the primary as compared to the secondary. This relationship is called ratio same on both ends of different spectrum. Question 53. Primary phase voltage is 240, and the secondary phase voltage is 480. This results in a ratio of 1 and 2. Primary phase voltage is 240, and the secondary phase voltage is 480. This results in a ratio of 1 and 2. Primary phase voltage is 240, and the secondary phase voltage is 480. 
This results in a ratio of 1 and 2. Question 54. Transformers are rated in KVA. KVA is how transformer are rated. Transformers are rated in KVA. Question 55. Universal motors are frictional HP motors that operate equally well on AC and DC and are used for vacuum cleaners, electric drills, mixers and light household appliances. Friction HP motors that work equally on AC or DC are universal motors. Universal motors work equally well on AC or DC appliances, 